good morning in today's video we will study about the gross anatomy of the cerebral hemisphere see the cerebral hemisphere we have two cerebral hemispheres connected in the midline by the corpus callosum if you take each cerebral hemisphere it has got the following features it has got three poles as you see this is the frontal region which comes in the front frontal pole this is the occipital pole and this is the temporal pole the temporal pole is facing inferior and inferiorly and anteriorly the frontal pole is facing anteriorly and the occipital pole is facing posteriorly each cerebral hemisphere has got three borders and three surfaces let us first consider see the borders the border which is running along the superior aspect this is the supromedial border this is the supromedial border inferiorly we have two borders one on the lateral aspect and one on the medial aspect you can see this is the medial aspect and this is the lateral aspect the border which is present along the infrolateral aspect is the infrolateral border and the border which is present along the infromedial aspect is the infromedial border so related to these three borders we have three related surfaces one is the suprolateral surface this is the suprolateral surface this is the suprolateral surface which is the outer surface of the cerebral hemisphere and then we have the inferior surface which is at the lower region this is the inferior surface and we have a medial surface which is between the two cerebral hemispheres so that is the medial surface we can study the medial surface better in a hemi section of the cerebral hemisphere we'll see that this is the medial surface of the cerebral hemisphere see we can even see the connection between the two cerebral hemispheres this is the corpus callosum which connects the two cerebral hemispheres at the medial aspect the inferior surface can be again subdivided into the anterior orbital part and the posterior tentorial part so based on these two surfaces the infero infro medial border can be again divided into the border which is corresponding to the orbital part is called the medial orbital border and the border which is corresponding to the tentorial part is called the uh, medial occipital border so this is the medial occipital border which is deeper to that of the cerebellum so medial occipit uh, medial occipital border and the, this is the medial orbital border in this orbital region orbital part the suprolateral uh, the infrolateral part of the orbital region is called the superciliary border so this is called the superciliary border now what all we have in the inferior borders so we have super superciliary border we have medial orbital border and the medial occipital border now the sur surface of the cerebral hemisphere has got series of grooves called the sulci and between the sulci we can see many sulci between the sulci we have the gyre next we will study about the lobes of the cerebral hemisphere to study the lobes of the cerebral hemisphere we need to know three important sulci so this is the first one which is the lateral sulcus this is the lateral sulcus and this lateral sulcus is having three ramus so this is the posterior ramus this one is the anterior this is the ascending ramus this is the anterior horizontal ramus this is the ascending ramus and this is the posterior ramus of the lateral sulcus this area is called the stem of the lateral sulcus next we need to know the sulcus which is dividing the frontal and the parietal region so this is the one you can see this is the central sulcus as you see the central sulcus is cutting the supromedial border this is a supromedial border so you can see the central sulcus will be cutting the supromedial border 
and it will be traveling downwards and forwards and it extends up to it extends just above the posterior ramus of the lateral sulcus you can see this is the central sulcus next we need to know one important sulcus which is dividing the occipital and the parietal region this is occipital region this is the parietal region you can see this this sulcus this is a sulcus this is called the parieto occipital sulcus so this is a parieto occipital sulcus this sulcus is very well seen in the medial surface which i'll show you so this is the medial surface you can see this is actually the parieto occipital sulcus this is the parietal region this is the occipital region this is the parieto occipital sulcus very well seen in the medial surface but only a part of it a very little part of it is seen along the suprolateral aspect this is the parieto occipital sulcus next we need to know a notch which is present along the infralateral margin this is infralateral margin okay you can see this is a notch so there is a notch which is present along the infralateral margin and this notch is called the preoccipital notch now after we know these three sulcus and this uh, three sulci and this notch we can easily divide the lobes of the cerebral hemisphere so now we will see how to divide the lobes of the cerebral hemisphere so the part which is in front of the central sulcus the part which is in front of the central sulcus so the central sulcus is present little posterior to the midline okay so a part which is uh, the uh, this central sulcus the part which is in front of the central sulcus is called the frontal lobe the part which is lying behind the central sulcus is the parietal lobe so how to demarcate the parietal lobe from the temporal and the occipital lobe so for that we need to draw an imaginary line connecting between the so this sulcus is the parieto occipital sulcus from here to the preoccipital notch we have to draw an imaginary line between the parieto occipital sulcus and the preoccipital notch the next thing is the lateral sulcus so the posterior ramus of the lateral sulcus as you see it ends as an upturn here so it travels posteriorly and then it turns upwards then it turns upwards so before it is taking a turn so you just continue the lateral sulcus backwards and draw an imaginary line joining up to the up to the imaginary line we have drawn between the parieto occipital sulcus and the preoccipital notch so now we are ha we are having a t shaped line okay so the uh, part which is lying posterior to that of this line which is joining the preoccipital the so the parieto occipital sulcus and the preoccipital notch is called the occipital area the occipital lobe and the part which is in front of it is called the parietal lobe and the part which is coming below the posterior ramus of the lateral sulcus and this imaginary line is called the temporal lobe so this is how we will divide the lobes of the cerebral hemisphere in next video we will study about the sulci gyri which are present in the suprolateral surface of the brain